Today we're going to give you a simple step-by-step -step tutorial for our online map trail data hosted on ArcGIS. We think you'll find this an invaluable tool for planning your adventures on the North Country Trail. To get started, go to our homepage, northcountrytrail.org, and click on the trail, maps and trail data, to bring up our main map page. Once this page loads, you'll see the ArcGIS Online map at the top of the page. Scroll down to where it says launch the map in full screen mode and click that link. Depending on your internet connection, it might take a moment for this page to load. Once the trail data is all loaded, you can begin to explore different sections of the trail. To scroll in on a map, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out. You can also use the plus and minus signs at the top left of the page. To move the map around, hold the left button on your mouse and then you can grab and drag the map to a different section. Another way to explore area is to type it in the search bar. We're going to look at Lowell, Michigan to see where the trail runs through Lowell. We can also get a closer look at our location by using the Find My Location button. And that will zoom in to right where we are. Here we are in headquarters. This button here will show us the legend, and we're going to get a closer look at some of these items by going up to Fallsburg Park. This is a great place to hike just north of Lowell. If we zoom in a little bit, we can see some of these things. We have parking here. If there were any camping, this would show up. We have the North Country Trail, and we can see where the North Country Trail is on road by the dotted lines here. This also shows us nearby trails and spur trails, and we have a nice example of a spur trail here. If we click on the Layers button, that allows us to turn off and on some of the point data, the North Country Trail, or the spur trails. Another good option to view the map is to change the base map gallery. If we click on this, we have options of different ways to look at the map. If we do imagery with labels, we can see more satellite imagery and we can see how the trail runs along the flat river here. We'll go back to a topographic view. If we click the overview map, this shows us where we are in relation to the larger geographic area. If we scroll out, we can see here we are north of Lowell. Scroll out a little farther, there we are just outside Grand Rapids. And scroll out even more to see where we are within the state of Michigan. We're going to scroll back in and look at a particular section of trail. If we click on a length of trail, we get a pop-up box that shows us more detail about this section of trail. We see this is in the Lowell State Game Area. It's a foot trail and it's 2.86 miles long. If we scroll down, we get even more information about whether it's open to biking, horses, camping, and even farther down, we can click on this more info. And for this one, it opens the West Michigan chapter page. They're the ones responsible for maintaining that section of trail. So let's look at the measurement tool. We want to hike a section of trail. We're going to park here, hike up here to this parking lot. Now, how far would it be to walk back this area? So we're going to use the measurement tool. Here we can see measure area, measure distance, location. We're going to click on distance. This pop-up box gives us the option to measure in miles, kilometers, feet, meters, yards. We're going to select miles. So what if we were to park here, hike this nice section, and end here? Zoom in a little bit more. That helps us use the measurement tool better. We're going to click. And this drops a pin, as you can see. And every time we click, it drops a pin. And we're beginning to measure this distance of if we finished hiking there, and we come back down here to where we parked our car, we can see that would be, double click at the end, about a 0.85 mile walk. Click here to get rid of this. So now we've looked at an area of trail. We're going to zoom out a little bit more. Now we want to share this map with our friends. We click the share button, brings up these options. We want to click share current map extent. 
Now we have the option to share it on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus or email. If we hit the Facebook button, it gives us the option to say something about joining me on this hike. And then we could share that on our page. We can also share the map link by copying and pasting that link right there. Or if we wanted to embed this particular map on our website, we could select what size we wanted it to be and then select all of this code in here and then we could copy and paste it into our website. Now if we wanted to print this, we would hit the print button. That brings up options over here of how we want to print this. We're going to select landscape PDF. And when we hit print, it's going to take a minute for this to generate a map that we can then print. Depending on how busy the servers are, this might take a minute. We'll hang on and then we have this printout link, which we can click. Then it will save this as a PDF. We'll hit OK. We'll go to our downloads, look at this PDF, and here we have this nice map of this area we were looking at. We can scroll in, get a little more detail. We see we have the legend here. This would be a great tool for a short little day hike. And that's a basic introduction to the ArcGIS Online. We hope you'll find this a helpful tool in planning your hikes on the North Country Trail.